My name is John Gindick, and this is Country and Blues Harmonica for the Musically Hopeless. All the music on this tape is for harmonica in the key of C, the same key of harp you got with this book and tape. Now I want you to play this tape at home, in the car, wherever you get the chance. And of course I want you to accompany the guitar music you find here with your harmonica. So pull out your book, your C harp, and let's get started. Section 2, Straight Harp, page 18. Back to the basics. There are two styles of harmonica music, straight harp and cross harp. Cross harp is what you just heard. In cross harp, the accent is on the draw notes and is used to play riffs, bluesy patterns of notes that fit in with the music they're accompanying. Here is a cross harp riff. Now, straight harp is the style that most beginners find easiest. You get it by accenting the blow notes on your harp and usually use it to play old melodies like You Are My Sunshine, Turkey in the Straw, and Clementine. This is how straight harp sounds. Now, just to get started with your harmonica, let's play a couple of straight harp tunes in the close enough style. This means you don't have to hit one note at a time. If your notation says to play four blow, and you get four and five blow, or even three, four, and five blow. Don't worry about it. This is the close enough style and will work on single notes later on. So hold the harmonica by its ends with the numbers facing up. Turn to page 20 and play Clementine with me. Remember, the circled numbers mean draw on your harmonica and the uncircled ones mean blow. Do you remember how Clementine goes? Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Oh, my darling Clementine. Well, something like that. Start on your four blow, and let's give it a try. Now try You Are My Sunshine, also on page 20. It goes kind of like this. You are my sunshine. And it starts on three blow. And there's that old hit song on page 19, Oh Susanna, starting on four blow.
Now, starting on page 72, there's an entire collection of straight harp songs. It's not necessary to memorize them now. Instead, we're going to move on to one of the most important skills in harp playing, the single note. Section 3, the rich, clear, single note, pages 22 through 26. Playing a rich, clear, single note is the key to good harmonica music. Since three blow and four draw are two of the most important notes in cross harp, practice your single note pucker on these two notes. Here is what a single note sounds like on three blow. And here is how it sounds on four draw. Now listen to how these notes sound when your mouth is clenched tightly around the harp or when your lips form a tiny single note opening. You'll notice the sound is cramped, hissy, and includes parts of the notes off to either side. Here's the three blow played incorrectly. Or, oh, that's awful. Try the four draw. Avoid these terrible sounds by approaching your harp with a deep pucker and your lips pushed out to form a vertical opening. Practice with me for a few moments. Three blow. Four draw. Three blow. To help you practice your single notes on three blow and four draw, here's some simple guitar music. Now as you play these two notes, you'll notice that three blow and four draw always fit in with the changing guitar chords. That's because they are the cross harp harmonizing notes. More on this a little later. Start off with a long three blow. Four draw. Your turn. Sounds good. Three blow. Play it for me. Four draw. Now it's all yours. Hey, you sounded great. Section 4, The Soul of the Harmonica, pages 28 through 30. Perhaps no other musical instrument sounds as much like the human voice as the harmonica. It can sound angry. It can sound sad. Or boisterous. The way the harp sounds depends a lot on how you, the harp player, feels. However, there are two techniques that will help you put rhythm and feeling into your harp music. These are tonguing and using your hands. Since tonguing is easier, let's start with it. Flick the tip of your tongue on the ridge behind your upper teeth as though you were saying ta, 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 ta. Now, without your voice, get a rhythm going. Try it on your three blow single note. And on your four draw. But fast isn't the only way to do it. Try tonguing your four draw three times, then go to three blow. 
or tongue in your three blow three times and go to four draw. To help you practice, let's jam on three blow and four draw with the rhythm machine. Your turn. Now your hands are also good tools for giving your harp motion. The illustration on page 29 is for large hands and the illustration on page 30 is for those of you with smaller hands. Find the way that's most comfortable for you. Now when your hands are open, the harp sounds like this on three blow. But when you close your hands, really close them so they're airtight, the three blow sounds like this. The real fun starts when you go from closed to open to make the harp say wah. Or wah wah wah. La, la, la. La, la, la. Try it with me on the three blow. La, la, la. And on your four draw. La, la, la. Now you can also flutter one hand against the other, getting this sound on your three blow. And on your four draw. Or to get a sound like a train whistle, flutter your hands as you draw on four and five at the same time. Without losing your single note, practice using your hands on three blow and four draw. So now let's play some simple guitar music and accompany it with our two harmonizing notes, three blow and four draw. Only this time we'll use tongue and hands to give the music more feeling and soul. Three blow. Four draw. Four draw. Your turn. Four draw. Take it. All right. Section five, cross harp pages 32 through 35. That's the sound of cross harp, the sound of the blues. How do you play it? Well, first, let me give you an explanation. Blow on the first four holes of your C harp. It should sound like this, more or less. 
Now on your C harp, blowing on these first four holes produces a C chord. Playing your C harmonica in the key of C is how you play straight harp. Now instead of blowing on holes one, two, three, four, draw. This is the cross harp draw chord. This sound on your C harp is a G chord, and the secret of playing cross harp is to accent the individual notes that make up this cross harp draw chord. These notes are called harmonizing notes, or safe notes. When you use them to accompany a guitar, they will not make a mistake. These notes are one draw, two draw, three draw, four draw, three blow, six blow, and six draw. What do I mean when I say they won't make mistakes? Remember how three blow and four draw always fit right in with the guitar music? It's the same with these other harmonizing notes. They are the foundation of cross harp. When you create patterns of notes that accent these harmonizing notes, you play riffs, bluesy collections of notes that always work with the music they're accompanying and always sound great when played solo. But don't believe me. Test it for yourself. I'm going to play a simple chord progression in the key of G and ask you to play each of these harmonizing notes. Listen to how each fits in with the changing chords of the guitar. Try your one draw. How about your four draw? Your three blow. All right. How about six blow? Your two draw. Three draw. Three blow. Six draw. Now you try any note you want. Stepping stone notes are described on page 34. They are not part of the cross harp draw chord and won't automatically harmonize. In fact, sometimes they'll clash. Listen to what happens when I accent a four blow. The moral, don't accent stepping stone notes. You use them like rungs on a ladder, playing them quickly as you move from one harmonizing note to the next. Here are some examples. Three blow and four draw are both harmonizing notes, but instead of playing only these two notes, link them together by playing three blow and then playing a ladder of stepping stone notes up to four draw. By accenting the three blow and the four draw, you get a riff. Now six blow and three blow are also both harmonizing notes. Create a riff that starts on six blow and winds down to three blow. Section five, part two. There are two kinds of harmonizing notes, notes of resolution and wailing notes. Look at page 35 to understand how they work. Now imagine music as a river. If the harmonica is playing in the key of G, it's a river of G. That's the river of G. Now out of this river rises our harmonica. It rises smoothly, finds a good strong note, holds it for several beats, tonguing and using hands to create a sense of tension. Now the note begins to return to the river. Just when you think it's gonna dive in, the harmonica finds an other note that lasts a couple of beats and creates more tension.
Finally, it eases back into the river and releases the tension by playing the note of resolution. Tension. Resolution of tension. Tension. Resolution of tension. Now when the harmonica is in the river, it's playing a note of resolution. Three blow is a note of resolution. A harmonizing note that never makes a mistake, creates a home base for your music, and it releases tension. When the harmonica is bending and twisting on one note that is out of the river, it's playing a wailing note. Wailing notes create tension. Listen to the four draw create tension. Listen to three draw, also a wailing note, create tension as it heads back to the river of music. Now, looking at page 38, play the up and down blues riff with me. Three blow. Three draw. Four blow. Four draw a wailer. Then four draw. Four blow. Three draw. Three blow. Now, if you emphasize the three blow note of resolution and the four draw wailing note in the up and down riff, you can use it to accompany basic chord progressions. In fact, you might play the first half of the riff, the up riff, twice. Then, when the musical spirit moves you, play the down riff. Or you might just play the down riff twice, then play the up riff, and finally the down riff. It's up to you. You'll find notation for this on page 39. Also, don't forget to tongue and flutter your three blow and four draw. By playing these notes for four, eight, or 16 beats, you turn them into riffs. Then you play the up and down riff for one of its many variations. Now let's try it with guitar. Start with the up and down riff. Here we go. Come on, play along. Hey, you sound great. That's the up riff. Now for the down riff. It's your turn now.
time to turn your tape over for more music and instruction. <laughs>